Hey friends, um, happy Vlogmas. I'm gonna try and do a weekend vlog for you. Uh, so today is Saturday the 4th. It's about quarter after 11. I'm still in pajamas. I'm not working, who cares, right? I was going to run a whole bunch of errands. Like I had my little list that so would have made a really nice, very large loop. Um, but then I realized I don't wanna do that today. <laughs> so I've been rejigging some things and I am just gonna be going to my mom's at some point today. Probably pretty soon because I think she wants me to pick up lunch. And I think it's going to be McDonald's because I think she said yesterday, I need a Big Mac. And I was like, oh, that sounds nice for you. Like, <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, now I am just putzing around. I've been up for a few hours and <sighs> trying to get a hold of my brain and a hold of what's actually happening for the weekend. So... I have re-downloaded, re-uploaded my day four vlog, so it's happening today in the past for you guys. So the video is like 20 some minutes long. It's a very large book haul from September and October. And right now, <laughs> right now, um, it says two hours and 14 minutes left of this upload. So, <laughs> This will be late, for sure. Um, let's hope it actually uploads. That would be nice, but you know, it's not done it before, we'll see. Anyway, so that's sort of my plan. Keep my computer awake so we can keep working on things. And then um, eventually I'll have to leave it, I realize that, but um, yeah, for now, I think I'm gonna take a shower, get out of my pajamas, make some tea for myself. Yesterday I had my very first cup of the T2 tea, which is the stuff for my advent calendar. And um, it was the gorgeous geisha, green geisha. It was green tea. It was really, really tasty. I'm not a huge green tea person unless it's peppermint. It just tends to taste like grass to me. But this was actually really, really tasty. Kind of fruity and just a little sweet, a little, little bit sweet. It was really good. So maybe I'll make my day two tea, which is, I think, something black. I don't remember. Anyways, I wanted to check in and say hello. Don't be horrified. And I will talk to you guys soon. Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> um, so you read some books. What would you think of that one? Well, the Escape Artist was really good. It was actually better than I thought it would be because I hadn't read his stuff before. Mm -hmm. um, kind of kept me going through the whole uh, page turner. Sort of like a James Patterson. Yeah. I like that it had shorter chapters, which I like. Mm hmm and uh, I would read another one. I, I don't know. It's, it's, this was good. Yeah, good. Thanks for forcing me to do this. You're welcome. Uh huh. <laughs> and here, this one too. Oh, an elderly lady is up to no good. Mm -hmm. She's a little Swedish, 80, upper 80s little old lady. Anybody who disturbs her quiet little apartment life and her way of life, mm -hmm. she gets rid of without getting caught. And does these little murders. There's four different stories in this book. And it was really fun to read. She does stuff you'd like to do, but no, you never could. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to, to some people. Mm -hmm. Just to get them all out of you and out of your life and away from you. Because mm -hmm. they irritate the heck out of you. Yeah. So that she does it and has no qualms about it. Nice. Name's Maud. And um, it's a fun little book to read. Yeah, nice. Yeah. By Helene Turston. Mm-hmm. So I read about Maud. Yeah. I'm going to read that next, I think. So, and what am I reading now? Oh. What are you reading now? Fun little, I um, can't remember the name of it. Skeleton something? So, yeah. It's on the table in there. Um, like a skeleton in the house or something like that, isn't it called? Yeah. Can't remember for sure. A cozy mystery of some kind. Yeah. Some, it's a silly little book, but it's yeah. fun. It's and a nice little mystery. What's your upstairs book? Do you have one upstairs? Oh, The Home Place. Oh, Yeah. This I black man one. in the South Carolina, mm -hmm. and how he, you know he's a really well-known person, and but how he loved nature and growing up in a little black farm, and yeah, what their lives were like, their church life, everything. But he always loved being out in nature and birds, mm -hmm. anything with water. He's a real cool guy. Yeah, that was um, a book naturalist pick. Mm. So yeah, I read it and I thought, oh my god, I know you would like it too. Yeah. It's such a good book, yeah, really it's interesting. Good. Okay, so that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, say bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Hey there, it's 3.15 on Saturday. 
I um, don't need my glasses now to read. Um, I just got back from my mom's a little while ago. We had a nice little chat. I picked up Culver's today for lunch. And then we just chatted a little bit and I'm away. So, uh, oh, my friend Michelle, um, she has a business called Ananda Sita. One of her friends makes jewelry and things. And she showed me these before she stocked them and said, do you, are you interested? And I said, yes, please. So these are called witch bells, apparently. I think they're to help protect against bad spirits, sort of like a dream catcher, I believe. <sighs> Stuck in here, this very pretty tree pattern, foil pattern, which you can't see, bag. And it's got this little thing. There you go. It's bells and a moon and stars and little, I think these are hematite and a smoky quartz crystal, maybe. Not too sure, but. Yeah, got that for myself, picked that up at our house. So I'll be hanging that above my bed. And on the way to her house to pick this up, I thought, oh, you know, I should really get a coffee. <laughs> so I went to Dunkin' Donuts, which I never really go to. I mean, we don't really have them here in Wisconsin. They're like every once in a while we have one, but not really. I mean, I think there's, I know of three locations in like a five county radius. So, you know, um, but I got a white mocha or peppermint mocha, excuse me. It was, it's really good. So I'm going to drink that and I need to catch up on reading to no surprise of anybody. <sighs> so I'm going to work on number 28 in the Stephanie Plum series game on. I really like this. I know people are kind of sick of it and wish she would just pick a guy and get it over with or sick of the shenanigans, whatever. I think it's so fun. I mean, once a year, a new book comes out and I get to see my old friends again and, see what kind of cars Stephanie blows up this time, what Grandma Mazer's going to shoot, what kind of funeral is going to happen. Like, <laughs> it's just fun. So, yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee, read a little bit, and see what happens. I was very good, proactive. I put in all of my chairs for the fall and everything for the winter. It's pretty warm out. It's um probably 38 or something. What is that, like 2 or 3 in Celsius? I'm very much spitballing here. So it's not bad at all. I mean, I didn't need a coat today or anything. So I put that away. I got my bird bath water heater out so the birds and squirrels can drink all winter and took my garbage out and recycling out. So I'm all set for the weekend. I can stay inside. So yeah, put my feet up, read and drink my little drink. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Um, so yeah, yesterday I didn't end up reading anything at all. I stopped to make myself a cup of tea, and then I thought, oh yeah, that's right, I have to go track that order and see when it's arriving so I can tell my mom something shipping to her house. And then I got distracted online on Etsy, and I got distracted by everything else, so I ended up not reading anything last night. This is what happens all the time now. I start to read, I intend to read, and then don't. Um, so yeah. You just miss me laying on the couch and sitting in front of the computer, essentially. Not great. Um, but I thought I would show you doing something today since my life is fairly boring. Um, I don't really go places and I don't feel comfortable filming in public uh, for the most part. Um, yeah, so I thought I would show you setting up my planner for the week. So I have a... This year, for my memory planning at least, I'm using an Erin Condren size planner. This cover is from an Etsy shop. It is Stylish & Co. on Etsy. Here's the back. Um, and again, the front. You could pick like the skin tone and the hair color and everything on the girl. So I thought I would show you a week in my planner, like a, a sample week. I'll show you this week, which has like nothing in it because I've been so distracted. <laughs> Um, and then I'll show you the before and after of planning for this upcoming week. I would do a time lapse thing, but A, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and B, I don't know how to add in any like music or anything yet. I'm charging my iPad. I'm going to try and learn Kinemaster on my iPad. Um, I, I use it here for editing and like cobbling things together and I can add in pictures. You guys have seen this stuff, but since I don't have a, like a camera camera and I don't, 
I just do everything on my phone, filming, editing on my phone, uploading, everything comes off of my phone. I um, don't know what a lot of stuff does on KineMaster, as you can't hover over anything like with your mouse or whatever. On your phone, you just have to push something, a random shape, and go, what does this do? I don't know. I've tried that too many times and I've deleted huge amounts of footage, so you're just going to get like a little before it, like an after setup and everything. I will talk you through a few things, I think. Um, but yeah, let's turn the camera around. I hope this angle is okay <laughs> and um, get started. Okay, so um, as you can tell, this is pretty chunky. By the end of the year, it's usually pretty chunky. This, this little part here is the only part that's left that's not uh, stickered up. So here's a sample week that's already filled out. This is my birthday week from this year. Um, so this is kind of the look I'm going for. Um, you can see underneath here, I can get a glare. All the foiling that's there, I used bougie boxes. This is a kit from Scribble Prince Co. with gold sparkle hollow uh, wiggle. The problem is nothing to most of you, but that's okay. So let's go ahead to... So this is my December monthly spread. This is from Lemon and Honey Studio on Etsy. This is going to be so awkward. I'm sorry. I don't use this a ton for big planning. It's just more of an overview. Like you can see, all I have really marked is mid-month book bash coming up and then a Capricorn in the first day of winter. So those are the things that matter to me, apparently. Uh, um, <clears throat> here's this week. This is also a kit from Scribble Prince Co. with a silver foil wiggle. Uh, you can tell I've only sat here and looked at this on Friday and Saturday, so just filling in everything. Uh, so I'll be back planning later today. But here we are now at planning time. So this is what they look like, what the week looks like by itself. So during Green Chef, trying to do Green Chef. So totally blank. Um, the kit I have this week is from Brandy's shop on Etsy. I'll link their shop below. So here's the full kit. Um, heart checklists, day of the week, habit trackers, you know, functional things, whatever weekend banner. Some quarter and half boxes and three heart checklists. Uh, some full size boxes with checklists. Um, little things, headers, things like that more like kind of washi strips and the bottom washi and then the full boxes which is like super super cute well i think it's super cute gnomes and kind of country things so i'm gonna be using that plus i have um this misfit uh random acts of kindness bag from scroll prince co with a wiggle in it this is sparkly hollow should be a complete wiggle and for these it just means that there's things are a little bit off cut somehow so my boxes small icons scripts I'm not even in the frame here scripts sorry and then um, bottom washi it's just deco food doodles circle icons and numbers you know and then full boxes and header overlays so, I'll be using that. I do need to pick out glitter headers uh, for the kit. So I have my big binder here. This is from the Fat Cat Designs. Also, I believe on Etsy, I'll link them as well. This has got all of my glitter headers from shops. Um, these I purchased outright. A lot of these are kit leftovers or things I bought as partials. Um, D-stash bags on Etsy, whatever. And then the last half, a little more than half, is all of my foil wiggles from Scroll Prince Co. And different foils, um, different formats throughout the years, you know. So I sort of forget that these exist, as you can tell by the massive pile of them. And I've been trying now to match up at least one wiggle a week with a kit. So I can get through these because I purchase them or receive them as gifts or whatever and I would like to use them. So I'm going to find some full boxes out of here. Find some glitter headers that match and let's see how it goes. So probably red or green. 
it's too bright of a red. This is what I do with myself. This recenters me working in my planner here. The face work, that green work. You know what? It's close enough, and I can use the silver and red for my sidebar. That was pretty fast. Okay. This is from an old scroll print scroll kit. So I can put this away now. And get cracking a little bit. I want to do this. Let's start by adding in the bottom washi also. Um, I use this white out Tombow brand is the best one. Honestly, it's so good. It's so good. It covers things up so easily. No problem. It doesn't tear like other ones do so much. Yeah. So I'm going to do all the white out first. I'll just have to do this stuff in steps because again, I can't do a time lapse. So I'll do all the whiting out of things ahead of time and then um, be back to show you the next thing I lay down. Okay, all of our things are whited out. I've got all the dividing lines blocked, so I know where I'm going to lay my full boxes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the edges of the bottom washi is blocked up. And that's because a lot of times kits are just cut a little bit too short in some ways, or like they're too, just too narrow. So, so you can see this. This one should be okay. Usually this shop does a pretty good job of having things measured out so they don't end up short but watch this be one time that's not the case see it's a little short over there you can't see that at all it's just a little bit short which whatever is fine it's not that big of a deal to me at least and then let's lay down the bottom washi right away. I like to put the smaller print on the top and then the larger one on the bottom so you don't ignore the smaller print. This is a lot. I know it's kind of busy, but you know, I kind of like it. It works. It's a fun challenge lining this up and usually I have screwed something up and something is quietly cockeyed but you know what it's still true but that's okay it's all right let's do this bottom one next I'd like to do a plan with me at some point. Um, maybe on the Double Booked Code channel. I don't know. But that's okay. So here's a little foiling on there, what that looks like. Okay, now I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, stop so I don't like my thermometer. Fat chance. And I'm going to lay down these green headers along on the top, butter has on the top here. Um, and lay down all of the full boxes. So I'll be right back. Okay, full boxes are down and the glitter headers are down. Also, everything is cattywampus. I realize it's just the way I plan. Everything is a little bit awkward and weird. Um, I'm not gonna lay down the full boxes, the glitter boxes just yet. Instead, I'm gonna work on the sidebar right now and go from the bottom up. There's too many things here. I'm not gonna use this now or these right now, so these can go someplace else. Um, this is my last full box I'm leaving there, so let me stick that here. And um, so if you look at last week, I'd like to put a decorative box here if I have a ninth decorative box, but I don't have one this time, so I'm gonna put a checklist in, and based on the weekly things, 
just a gray. I think I will use a green checklist on the bottom. I'm going to have a checklist, so I'll do that. This feels a little weird to be doing this uh, because I have watched Final <laughs> Maze for years and I did not intend on doing this when I woke up this morning, I have to tell you. Thought, oh, maybe I'll show like a before and after and I'll hold things up. Instead, nope. Doing a broken up plan with me. So this is my to-do list for the week. Um, here's my weekly tracker. And I will use a This Week header. I use this for like my favorite part of every day, the highlight of every day. Again, super cattywampus. And let's use this lone red glitter header so I can finish up that. Again, super cattywampus. Uh, let's do this one habit tracker then since it's just the one in the kit. Usually I use two, but this week I didn't really have a need for two. I just, it's just blank. Um, well, I have this sheet here. Let's put the weekend banner on. And let's put it on the bottom. will also be crooked, but that's okay. It matches everything else. So this sheet is done. And this one's done. For now, that is. This one could be done since I have extra space. Just tracking one thing. This box is not gonna It'll be a little low, I think. It might be okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Put this away. Take my white out and cover up this. Isn't this fascinating, you guys? <laughs> I'm sure half of you are like, uh, this has nothing to do with reading, Laura. I am so bored. I can't even tell you. But put the last little box down. Okay, this is garbage. That is done. So, this is the base for my week. Uh, I will go in and I'll put um, letter header covers and full box things. So, like letter header covers here will go on the top, and then I'll put some kind of cover there. Put those on, and then. Um, I have a small little December sticker because my handwriting stinks now. Um, I have that. Um, I'll stick that over here. I didn't bring all my planner stuff into the other room with me, clearly. But, and, <clears throat> excuse me. And then that will be everything set up for the coming week this week. So, that's that. Now I need to back plan this week and work on today. Wasn't that completely thrilling? I know. <laughs> Um, I'll put my green chef reminder. Let's see if I want to cancel. So yeah. Oh, also I can pick the tea for today. So yesterday's tea I did off camera. It's um, Singapore breakfast. Uh, Pu'er green tea, coconut, pandan, and coconut. It's apparently a Singaporean kind of blend. Singapore breakfast. That's in the title right there. And then to find day five in this big heifer. Day five. It is this right here. It's a man reading something on the couch with a dog and a lady waving out the window. Okay. 
This is Tommy Tea. Ooh, wonderfully minty after dinner treat with a sumptuous smooth and sweet aftertaste that will last linger excuse me, well into the evening. Contains licorice. Peppermint, licorice root, fennel, and marigold petals. So, yeah. That will be good. I do like digestive teas and mint tea in general, so that's good. Um, yeah, okay. So, it's still before 10, just about in the morning. Um, usually setting up my planner for the week takes 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I've got a pretty good rhythm down. I've been doing this for a few years now. So I figured out what I like and I don't like. I do try to mix up the placement of the full boxes. Otherwise you do get like big bumps in the planner throughout the year, like where you've put all the full boxes and things. But it's the end of the year. Everything is fat and bumpy. It doesn't matter at this point. So um, I will finish up a little bit of that and then... Uh, make some tea for myself probably and hopefully get to reading I don't know we'll see um it's also starting to snow which is sort of amazing we've had snow here I'm in the south eastern corner of the state um, we've had snow twice and sleet a couple of times but nothing has stuck it's just melted immediately or within like five minutes of being on the ground, it just doesn't stick. Uh, let me see if I can turn this. Ignore all my crap in the shelves. And see if I can get this up. Do you see anything? Is that from a nice decorative wagon wheel in my backyard? It just looks like fog. It's so misty. That's okay. Hi. <laughs> so. My neighbors are doing a whole bunch of stuff outside right now without shoes on. It's cold. It's cold, yo. Okay. <laughs> blah, blah. I'll be back later. Hey, so this is the snow we have outside right now. Um, it's not really snow so much as sleet. It was supposed to turn around all day long and become more rain, but um, for reference, it's like quarter after three in the afternoon. I took a massive, massive nap. I... <laughs> Started doing work laundry because it's uh, me. Hi, welcome. I do laundry all the time. Um, so I started laundry and I remember thinking to myself before I fell asleep, I was laying on the couch watching TV. Um, <laughs> like, all right, Laura, um, the washing machine just made a little noise so you can go outside. I go outside. You can go downstairs and change loads. And then if you feel like you have to take a nap, do it then. But like change loads first. And I was like, yep, you got it. <laughs> An hour and a half later, I was like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> so I guess I had to sleep. That's okay. I am currently watching some Greg Davis rerun for the, I don't know, fifth or sixth time. Now I just have in the background of things when I'm doing things around the house. Um, but I am really hungry because I slept through lunch. So I'm going to eat something quickly, and then I have to uh, put some makeup on my face and at least change my pajama shirt for my live show with Danny, where we are talking about our um, book club we're starting next year on Double Booked Co. So I'm going to eat something really quickly and then uh, put mascara on and find a different shirt. I just combed my hair. It looks terrible now. It doesn't look great, but whatever. It's, it's blurry. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Saying more for my own sake than for anybody else's because, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Hey there, friends. Okay, time for me to wrap this weekend vlog up. I just finished my live show with Danny over at our Double Booked Co. channel where we announced our um, book club options. Um, you can vote on the comment section of that video in the community tab here. Community tab. I got it here on my channel or on Danny's channel as well. Um, in case you didn't watch or you don't care to or whatever, here are the three options. Briefly, um, Atonement by Ian McEwen. The Air You Breathe by Francis DePontes. I think it's Peebles. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I'm like very Midwestern Wisconsin. And then um, Tony's Wife by Adriana Trigiani. So you can vote until the end of the day on the 18th. Um... All I have done since I checked in with you last, sadly, was clearly put on mascara <laughs> and change my shirt. Um, I've done two loads of laundry today for work, and I'm retiring two sets of sheets, which is long overdue. Um, 
terribly thrilling information, isn't it? I know it is. Also, sorry this is so shaky. It's the camera mount on my ring light thing. It does not screw in tightly and, and is like still straight. It's always a little wonky. So in order for it to be straight, it has to be shaky. I apologize. It annoys me as well. So I'm going to wrap this up, start cobbling things together. I will be participating in um, the reading the live reading sprints tonight at Krista's channel, Books and Jams. Um, if you don't watch her already, watch that. And yeah, this should hopefully be up in time for tomorrow morning. The speed of my internet, though, who knows? We'll see. And if nothing else, um, I will talk to you all on Tuesday. Hope you had a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.